What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be discussing some kettlebell flows and some movements to help you guys as athletes and as runners. I have nothing but the legend himself, <laughs> Eric Leah, also known as the Primal Soldier. And it's funny, I actually watched a bunch of Eric's content two years ago when I was in my mom's garage, trying to learn kettlebells, and I'm far from a pro. But dude, I learned so much from his channel, so I'm freaking honored to have him in this video. Introduce yourself, my friend. What's up, guys? I'm Eric Leha, or the Primal Soldier. Super stoked to be here with uh, Matt today. I've been following his stuff for a while, too. He's Let's crushing go. it with the running content, so I'm excited to add some value with some kettlebell work, some fun, unconventional mobility stuff to help you guys get nice and injury-proof for Let's your training, it. all right? Let's get it. Let's go, baby. Injury-proof! Ankles, knees, hips, all right? Squat and pull. Nice, beautiful work. Beast. Yeah, give me five more. Those arms as straight as you can. You can go staggered. Just give me five here. And snap downs. Yeah, there you go. Here. Be explosive. Yeah, good. <laughs> Smash it down. Uh huh. And then, whoa. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And then let yeah. it rip. Download for a second. Take a I need, the software is going slow. You know when it's like when your email's going slow, shit, it's, dog. It's buffering. It's buffering, bro. Boom. That was the warm up. Eric's gonna take us through a couple kettlebell flows. Take us away here, sir. We're gonna get into some kettlebell work. Some of my favorite moves for hip mobility, stability, and uh, just overall full body uh, strength, so that you can really keep those joints healthy. So it's not gonna be nothing super dynamic. There will be some moves in here. They're gonna get your heart rate up, but for the most part, we're looking for quality of movement, quality reps, so that way these moves can help us build up a stronger foundation and really translate over well into our sport, whether it be running, uh, sprinting, football, whatever you're doing, right? When we're in the gym, we wanna make sure we're adding to what we're doing, not taking away. So we're not gonna try to kill ourselves with this workout. We're gonna move slow, smooth for most of the movements. Oh yeah. Today, we're gonna try to play around, move around in all directions. But first off, we're gonna go forward and back, just like we do when we run traditionally, right? But I want you to focus on engaging the hamstrings. Now, one big problem, a lot of people get injuries when they're running is lack of engagement of the hamstrings. All right, so today, we're gonna to do a little movement, a little kettlebell flow, two move flow. That's gonna light up the hamstrings. You're gonna stagger your stance. Big toe in line with that back heel. Boot it to the ground, back heel off the ground. Square shoulders, hinge. That means fold at the hips. Drive those hips back, get that stretch in the hamstrings. Release that stretch like a rubber band. Tuck the knee up. Pause for a second. Drop. And then find that staggered position. Light up the hamstrings. Drive, drop. Good, really get that knee up a little bit faster. So that was our first move, the kettlebell runner's flow. Next up, we're gonna take a break from the load in this series. We're gonna come down to the ground and we're gonna do like a tall kneeling stretch. All right, so stack your shoulders over your hips, hips over your rear knee. From here, I want you to drive your knee forward, keep the glutes engaged, try not to let all this hang out, all right? Ribs down, squeeze the glutes, drive your knees as far forward as you can. And then from here, we're gonna step down, child's pose. Opening up the shoulders. Step up on the other side. And reach forward. Mobilizing that ankle, driving that knee as far forward as you can, keeping that heel down. I like to even hold my arms out to my sides, reach down. Nice, proud chest. All right, three to five reps there. That's our child's pose. It's a tall, Woo! kneeling ankle stretch. All right, it's a mouthful. You can just call it the Eric stretch. <laughs> <laughs> the Eric stretch. <laughs> the primal, the primal <laughs> stretch. All right, we're gonna keep it moving and grooving. All right, back to the kettlebells. We're going kettlebell and then intercept mobility. Now kettlebell again, a little bit more dynamic this time. We're gonna be stepping out into a lateral lunge. All right, I just want you to make sure on this one, as we're doing this, we keep working on that hip strength, all right? We did that, that knee drive earlier. Now, we're gonna think about the same thing, but we're gonna kinda come across the body. 
All right? Boom, right? You drive that knee across the body. Imagine you're stepping over a small hurdle. Boom, drive that knee out. Think about landing the outside edge of your foot parallel to the wall to the side. All right, now we're gonna add load with a shoulder mobility exercise, our kettlebell halo. So let's break down the halo. On the halo, I want you to think about moving with the weight. As the load comes down, I soften out the knees like a small squat. Drop, stand, extend the knees, bring that belt over the shoulder. If I, if I were to let go with this hand, I would be able to hold it. All right, that's how tight and stacked the wrist, elbows, and hips are. From here, bring it behind the head. Go deep behind the nape of your neck. Yeah, just like that. And then we finish the rotation over the other shoulder. Catch. All right. Halo. Drop, catch that weight. Weight goes up, weight comes down. So now let's put those two together. We go kettlebell over the left shoulder, behind the neck, right shoulder, and then I'm going to bring that right leg across, step out, sit down, and back. Then we go the opposite direction. Keep it up. Cross the body, hurdle, lunge. Keep it going. Woo. Go five reps each side on that one. Fourth movement, we're gonna give ourselves a break from the load, so no kettlebells. We're gonna get on the floor, body weight here on this next one. All right, for this next one, we're gonna keep the theme going with strengthening the hips, but also incorporating the core and working that contralateral movement. Remember, when we run, you go opposite arm, opposite leg, right? To keep that balance. So that's why it's important to get some core work in. That can kind of translate well into strengthening all those attributes. So we're gonna go tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders, and I want you to think, tuck, your knees in underneath your belly button line, so not directly under the hips. All right, we want, we want slight hip flexion. That way I can tuck my toes in and kind of kick back a little bit. Not just flexing the hips, but activating the glutes as I kind of kick back, as I'm reaching up and forward, creating tension forward with the hands. I kick back with the legs, you feel that? Yeah. Once you get that down, you should feel strong and stable. We're gonna lift opposite hand, opposite foot and then switch sides. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Keeping the rest of your body quiet. Notice how he's not moving at all. Yeah, the slower, the better, right? Go ahead and take a rest for a second. All right, 30 seconds on this, 20, 30 seconds can be really tough. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Now, you're gonna internally rotate that leg, all right? Tap the toes. Try to reach for those toes if you need to. Spread your limbs out wider. Contralateral toe taps, keeping your body as stable as you can. Keep it up, Matt. Just like that. So this we're working team. core strength, contralateral limb lifts, and that internal hip rotation to Ooh. straighten the hips, keep them healthy. Yeah, we don't do this when we're <laughs> running, but you want to strengthen those hips in all directions just in case you step over something uneven. All right, you know, we don't train for a perfect world. That's why, you know, it's, it's cool to train on a treadmill every now and then, but you've got, we've got to get out there. We've got to move, jump off different angles. So that way we develop a 360 body. The world is your playground. The gym is a good controlled setting. Yeah. Remember that. And on this one, dude, ripping your freaking hand apart, forward and back, I think for most people inside, yeah. if you just do that, it's gonna rip, I mean, dude, yeah. in my arms, I felt that. I'm like, dude, that's yep. a, it's a different level of uh, And once you get that down, that 360 strength, pushing, pulling in all directions, the limb lifts are a lot easier. Final movement here, Eric's gonna show us a decel plow metric here. What do we got, Doug? So for our fifth and final movement, our championship round movement, <laughs> we're gonna go, Grab that bell with one hand. All right, on this one, we're gonna start in a lunge position. Contralateral leg is forward. From here, you're gonna jump up. Switch at the top, catch. De focus on that deceleration, landing in that lunge. Pause for a second, jump, switch, jump, switch. I like that. That's gonna work on obviously being explosive, but more importantly, being able to catch, to catch that load so that we can 
more safely slow down when we're speeding up, going fast, sprinting. Uh, you want to be able to decelerate properly so you won't blow a gasket, hurt yeah. yourself. I think it's super important for runners because think about when you're doing marathon training, endurance running, a lot of times you're in this upright position. So we don't really train the sprinter mechanics. Uh -huh. So keep that in mind for any runners, like this could be something, maybe you're not adding a kettlebell, but Eric, how would we do it? No kettlebell, we're just probably going split lunges, right? Yeah, we just go catch. Catch. Boom. Catch. I do a little tap in the middle, drop. Boom. Tap. Yeah, so this would be a really good option if the kettlebell's a little bit too much of a load. And for anybody that has trouble with just plyometrics in general, you know, jumping, just come into a nice reverse lunge. Boom, focus on loading that hip. Slight lean, but I keep a tall chest. Switch, drop slow, quick switch, drop slow. Boom, that's the workout. Eric, give us a quick explanation. Sets, reps, how should people break that up? So for those five movements, I would run through them about five to eight reps of each movement. If it's a two-sided movement, that's five to eight reps on both sides. I would rest 20 to 30 seconds in between every exercise, and then one to two minutes in between every set. All right, so total work time will be about six to six to seven minutes, two minute rest, so that's about yeah. 10 minute rounds. I would do anywhere from three to five rounds. Man, how much time you have, you wanna get a 30 minute workout in, do three sets, you got some more time, put some extra work in, give me four to five. All right, but just make sure you're really taking that full rest so that we can have enough energy, recover strong in between sets to hit every set with maximum effort, all right? So that. quality reps only. Quality freaking reps. That is your guys' kettlebell flow, strength and mobility circuit that you guys can add into your routine. Even if you don't take the whole thing, sprinkle in some of these things that you dropped, that the gems that Eric dropped in this video, add it into your guys' workout routine. Yo, you got anything for the people? Last, last comments here, dog. What you got to say to the people, dog? Hey. Like, subscribe. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> if you guys got value out of this video, crush the like button. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel and drop in the comments what video or collab we should do next. Other than that, me and Eric about to freaking, we're about to spread the yeah. race. Let's go, baby. And if you want to check out my stuff, I got tons of other kettlebell workouts. Dude, go, go to my channel, Eric Leha, baby. Dude, Let's go, go check him out. Primal Eric Leha, not Eric Leha, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs>